Hi viewers, welcome to our channel, Kavita Ashok Educational Channel for Mathematics. Right, one problem is given here. Find the values of sin 120 degrees, cos 585 degrees, tan 480 degrees, sec 510 degrees, cosec 750 degrees and cot 765 degrees. Sir, we remembered only the standard values, standard angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. But the question contains different, different values. How can we solve? So to solve these type of problems, we have to know one trick that is all silver tea cups method. Today we will discuss first all silver tea cups method. By using that, how can we solve these problems? We will discuss. Remember carefully sir, in your lifetime, the sil all silver tea cups will play an important role. If you are perfect, the trigonometric val questions we will solve easily. Without this all silver tea cups, we can't solve the problems. So this is just like a weapon for the trigonometric functions. Right? What is all silver tea cups? You are eagerly waiting. So I will explain neatly. Listen carefully up to end, right? All silver tea cups. Now, first we will divide the total board into four parts here. We will take the angles. This is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees, and this is 180 degrees, and this is 270 degrees, and again the round will contain 360 degrees. 9, 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. These angles are called quadrant angles. What are that? Quadrant angles. Right. Now, the first quadrant, this is quadrant Q1. This is second quadrant, third quadrant, and this is fourth quadrant. So, it divides the total board, it divided into four quadrants. First quadrant is Q1, second quadrant is Q2, third is Q3, and four is Q4. Right. This first quadrant is up to 0 to 90 degrees. And the second quadrant 90 to 180. Next third quadrant 180 degrees to 270 degrees. And the fourth quadrant 270 degrees to 360 degrees. This. Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Right. The first Q1 represent all. The second one, silver. The third one, T. The fourth one, cups. All silver, T, cups. Right. All in the sense here, all trigonometric ratios sin cos tan cosec sec and cot in this region in this first quadrant all trigonometric values up to 0 to 90 degrees are always positive all are positive all means all trigonometric ratios for these angles are positive. Next, silver. The first letter S. S means sign. The opposite function, the multiplicative inverse of sign is cosec. Right? First, in this first quadrant, all trigonometric values will become ratio positive. And the second quadrant. Silver means sine as well as cosec. These two are positive. 
only these two are positive remaining all trigonometric values trigonometric ratios will becomes negative next t tell the students t means tan so what is the uh, uh, multiplicative inverse of tan cot in this q3 in this q3 these trigonometric functions are positive up to 180 to 270 degrees for the remaining the values will becomes negative cups first letter is ka c so cos and sec cos function and sec function are simply sin theta value cosec theta value tan theta value cot theta value cos theta value sec theta value the theta will becomes here these are the theta values these are the theta values right this is the all silver t cups means in the first quadrant all trigonometric val values up to 0 to 90 degrees the trigonometric ratio value will becomes positive in the second quadrant 90 to 180 if you take any value for this 90 to 180 for sin as well as cosec these values will becomes positive and the third quadrant tan and a cart between 180 to 270 all these trigonometric ratios value will is becomes positive and finally 270 to 360 degrees it will becomes cos and sec these two functions values ratios values will becomes positive what is the second round 360 means zero in the second round 360 plus 90 360 plus 90 plus 90 360 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 and 360 plus 360 this is the round we will take the values in anti-clockwise direction how we can take the theta value anti-clockwise direction that's why we are taking all silver t cups in the anti-clockwise direction so now this is a all silver t cups table by using this how can you find out the values now we will discuss right so by using these all silver teacups how can you find out the values now we will discuss right before going to find out right you how to know what are the co-functions sign the co-function of sin is cos. The co-function of tan is cot. And the co-function of sec is cosec. Right. Look at it. What are the co-functions? Actually, sin theta value depends on the theta value sometimes it changes to other function if it change sometimes it may change sometimes it may not change if it change where it changes and which function it has to change so sin if it changes it will become scarce tan if it changes Sometimes it may not change. If it changes, then it will become cot. And sec, if it changes, it will become cosec. Now you have the doubt. When it will change and when it will not change. So, we will concentrate on that. Right. 90 into 1. 90 into 3. 90 into 5. So on. 90 into 2. 90 into 4 90 into 6 look at here now 90 into 1 is 90 90 into 3 is 270 90 into 4 is 450 so odd multiples for odd multiples of 90 degrees the values will change means whenever sin 90 sin 90 plus sin 90 minus sin 270 plus sin 270 minus sin 450 plus sin 450 minus if odd multiples of 90 is there the function changes into its co-functions if sin is there it changes to cos cos is there it changes to sin if tan is there it changes to cot and cot is there it changes to tan and sec changes to cosec and cosec changes to sec when when odd multiples of 90 is there so here no change 
whenever even multiples of 90 is there, there will not be any change in the function. Means the sign will become sign only, cos will be keep it as cos only, tan, tan only, cot, cot only, sec, sec only, cosec, cosec only. But sometimes their sign may change. Sometimes sine theta will become minus sine, cos minus cos, tan minus cot. When it changes, its sign will decide by our all silver teacups. All silver teacups will decide the sign of that particular angle of that ratio trigonometric function. Is it clear now? So, very clear about our trigonometric co-functions. When it changes, when will it will not change? When it changes, whenever odd multiple of 90 is there. When it will not change, whenever even multiple of 90 is there. So, now we will solve the problem one by one. Right, look at here now. Sin 120 degrees, right. Sin 120 degrees. Now, sin. We have two choices to write 120 as 90 plus. 90 plus or 180 minus 120 degrees lies in between 90 to 180 degrees now we have two choices we can write 90 plus 30 or 180 minus 60 in both of the ways i will explain whatever you will use we can get the same answer right first i will use the addition process sign how can you write 90 degrees plus 30 degrees right now 90 plus is there 90 plus theta here for 90 plus theta and also 180 degrees minus theta is in the second quadrant second quadrant and here 180 degrees plus theta and 270 degrees minus theta will be in the third quadrant next 270 degrees plus theta or 360 degrees minus theta will be in the fourth quadrant now 90 plus 30 in the sense 90 plus theta. This is in second quadrant. Now, we already know sir, 90, 1, 90. This is odd multiple of 90. Whenever odd multiple of 90 is there, sign changes to its co-function. So, it changes to cos. Just change. Right? 30 degrees. Now, the problem is not over. Now, we will use the all silver teacups. Now, 90 plus theta. This is a second quadrant. In second quadrant, sign will become positive. This is sign only. So that's why no need to write any sign. Sign will become positive. So this will be positive. So how, what is the value of cos 30? We already know cos 30 degrees value and sine 60 degrees value is same. The answer will be root 3 by 2. We already know about the particular values, standard values, trigonometric values, ratios. So root 3 by 2 is the answer. If you want 180 minus then what we will get once look at here now sign 120 can be written as 180 degrees minus 60 degrees right again 180 is there even multiple of sign so there is no change in the function sign will become sign only keep 60 degrees here now 180 minus theta 180 minus theta is also in the second quadrant in second quadrant sign will become positive so, in sign will become positive. That's why no need to keep any signature. Sign. So, sign 60 is nothing but root 3 by 2. In both of the cases, we got the same answer. So, like this, we can solve the remaining problems also. Now, second problem. Cos 585 degrees. Right. First we will write cos 360 degrees plus how much uh, 360 this will be 5 to 225 degrees means 360 plus 225. We already know 360 is nothing but 0 for now. So simply we will write this as cos 225 degrees. Next cos Again, we can write 225, third quadrant. We can write 180 degrees plus 45 degrees. Again, 180 is there. There is no change in the function. So, cos 45 degrees. 180 plus theta is in the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, 
tan cot only positive these two are only positive but here cos is zero that's why you can get minus now minus cos 45 is nothing but 1 by root 2 so cos 585 degrees value is minus 1 by root 2 by using uh, 270 degrees minus 45 degrees also we can get the same answer either you can use 180 plus or you can use 270 minus in both of the cases we can get the same answer by using this concept solve the remaining problems if you have any doubt message me once again i will explain that thank you thank you very much